Hello, I'm Avery Copeland, and I'll be demonstrating the science experiment for week 19, science memory work. What is the first law of thermodynamics? The first law of thermodynamics is that energy is neither created nor destroyed. Today we'll be making school cars. You'll need a few household items. You'll need a spool, two thumbtacks, one steel washer, a paper clip, and a rubber band. Now in addition to these objects, oh yeah, and a pencil, sorry. In addition to these objects, it's helpful to have a bobby pin and a rubber mallet. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be converting elastic potential energy, potential is the energy of position, into linear kinetic energy. Okay, and you can see that this blue car rolls quite nicely across my kitchen table. Okay, so now that you've seen the demonstration, let me show you how to do this. First, you're going to thread the rubber band onto the paper clip, much like you would put a key on a keychain. Okay. Then, you will take the bobby pin and put it on the other side of the rubber band. I will thread this through the spool. The bobby pin is really just like a big fat stiff needle to help you get it through. Okay, You don't have to have one per car. It just makes it easier to get it through. Okay, now with the bobby pin still in place, we're going to fix this side of the paper clip, or fix this side of the rubber band, to the spool car using some thumbtacks. So you'll place the thumbtacks on either side of the hole through the spool and tap them in with the rubber mallet. It doesn't have to be perfectly flush. In fact, it's a little bit easier if they stick out in case the rubber band breaks. Now you can take the bobby pin off and you'll put the steel washer onto the rubber band in between the, where the pencil will go and the end of the spool. This is to reduce friction. I tried it without the washer, but um, there was just too much friction force and I wound up breaking the rubber band before I got enough elastic potential energy to overcome the friction force. But that's another lesson. Okay, so once you thread the, pen, the washer and the pencil, you thread the pencil through the rubber band, you're going to pull it tight over here on the other side and you're going to tie an overhand knot in the end of the rubber band on the same side as the thumbtacks. Okay, and now here comes the fun part. You get to load it, load it up and you just, you hold the spool still and you spin the pencil. If you did everything right, the paper clip and the rubber band will remain stationary on this side. Okay. So, and you'll wind it up and let her rip. Okay. Now, this, uh, we are loading this system, the spool car system, with elastic potential energy when we spin the pencil around. Okay, and when we let it go, we convert that potential energy into kinetic energy. Now, I already alluded to something, you know, not all of the energy that we've loaded into the spool car system is going into kinetic energy moving forward. Some of it is still in the rubber band. You can still see that it's twisted. It still has more potential energy. Some of it goes into thermal kinetic energy to overcome the friction forces, okay? The friction of the washer against the spool, okay? And so thermal energy is kinetic energy. It's just that the particles are moving very, you know, small particles moving very close like that, and so you can't see it, okay? And so also we have a little bit of sound going on here, okay? And so some of our potential energy is going to compress the air molecules around the spool Okay, and we hear that with our ears, okay, but that's another type of kinetic energy being produced by the spool car system. So even though, you know, we might put a certain number of rotations on this rubber band and it'll go forward, and we think, wow, that's all the, the energy we have, that's not true, okay? We still have more energy, it's just going other places. Okay, now, I have a couple of other examples of 
energy neither being created nor destroyed. This is probably one of the most famous. This was created by Sir Isaac Newton. Okay, this is called Newton's Cradle. You have some stainless steel balls suspended by some nylon wire. Okay, or nylon thread, rather. There are two uh, nylon wire, nylon threads in a V configuration for each steel ball at the bottom. Now, I can put potential energy into this system by raising this ball up. Okay, now it's higher than the other balls. When I let it go, it pushes the ball on the other side. Now, you see, steel is a pretty inelastic material, so most of the energy gets put into raising this ball, but you can see that the system is winding down and the balls are getting, you know, the motion of the balls is getting smaller and smaller. Well, that's because, you know, just like all of our potential energy in our spool car didn't go for just making the spool car move, all of the potential energy I put in the Newton's cradle is not being translated into the motion of the balls. Part of it is the sound you hear that. Right? You can also see that the other balls are moving slightly. Okay, so some of the energy is going there. And in addition, although we can't see it, if you had a very, very sensitive thermometer, you could measure that the steel balls are heating up ever so slightly as they impact one another. Now what's fun about a Newton's Cradle is if you pull one ball back, you get one ball out. If you pull two balls back, you get two balls back out. And if you pull three balls out, what do you think will happen? Well, that, that middle ball, that third ball, it travels both ways. Okay. Now my daughters like to do this. You can pull both of them back, and they just bounce, bounce, bounce that middle ball with the, the middle ball. Um, barely moves. Okay, we have another very um, popular example of potential energy. A slinky. A slinky has potential energy in the form of a spring. Okay? And we all know what a slinky does, right? A slinky walks downstairs. It translates the potential energy that it has because of its structure into the kinetic energy of walking. So, there's also another type of um, another type of spring. It's called a torsional spring. And think music box. Okay, that's the way a music box works. You wind up a little key. Okay, when you release the key, the, the key is attached to a spring inside, but the spring is wound tight like this, like it's twisted. Okay and it creates a tension in the wire in that spring and when you let it go it unwinds and it plays music and also um, mechanical watches not quartz watches but you know mechanical wind-up watches or clocks work the same way so this is our demonstration on energy is neither created nor destroyed week 19 classical conversations tallahassee florida